what is up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly grateful so guys today i'm in the xiaomi showroom here in shanghai as you all know xiaomi is a company that produces mobile phones and other electronic gadgets but they've decided to get their feet wet in the ev market and this is their first attempt at producing cars and the su7 is their very first car so today i'm in the showroom to do a quick walk around of the new su7 that has been released by xiaomi so let's go and take a look at this brand new vehicle here in the front seat um so when you sit in the driver's seat this is what you're seeing and overall it looks really really nice leather everywhere and let's start from the steering wheel area so you have a main screen here which is quite huge but it doesn't intrude in your driving your vision and you have a smaller screen here like most cars have one hour days I'm sure this screen will give you the essential and quick menus or information that you need whilst you're driving and it has a, a relatively small and sharp looking steering wheel very comfortable to hold very nice leather and you have your drive mode selector right here and you have another button here I'm not sure what it's meant for and you have your basic controls uh, so this is for volume control I don't know if you can hear through this but the speakers sound really really good yeah very nice speaker sound and on the left as well and if you look up here very nice dash design leather all around and let's just look at the screen a little bit so you have navigation in the middle and on the right you have your music and on the left you have some information on the car and you have your mapping and your menus down here temperature control so if i just hit the home button yeah it's already on the home button so if i hit map then it populates large screen onto the screen can go back to home if i hit the car can have some information you can actually open the trunk from here so the trunk has just opened in the back and if i hit it again then the trunk closes so you don't really have to step out of the car if you don't have to and uh, if we look up here we have your rear view mirror i'm not sure if it doubles as a reverse camera maybe not because of the large screen and up here you have your press to turn on interior lights and you have some ambient lighting behind this and you have your hazard lights right here you have your sos button and you have your camera activator there you have some nice tesla style oh nice tesla style mirrors here with lights on both sides very solid let's see if the driver's side has it as well yes the driver's side has it as well it folds into two halves and you can see your face clearly with these two lights illuminated let's get it back there and you can see there's a panoramic roof going all around kind of like what you have in the tesla i'm sure when it's sunny outside it will darken and overall you have some really nice looking seats here for this vehicle it's very supportive as well it doesn't have a thick lining but it's really really comfortable and you have alcantara material very soft touch everywhere you touch is soft touch you got leather up here you got some a wooden trim some fabric here pardon me if it's dark in here because the interior is a dark one and you have your window controls and your door open button and here you have some cup holders some door bins right here and there's a button here I'm sure for opening when your electronics fail and down there you have your paddles and if you look at these stocks for turn signals it looks very similar to other cars out there there's nothing wrong with copying and you have your drive selector here many cars are putting it right here which is very convenient because the driver doesn't have to take their hands off to control it here you can do it right here and if we look at the middle we have as usual 
your storage and that's about it I'm not sure if there are any no USBs or whatever and here you have I believe your fan selection speed your temperature control start stop and you have a 50 watt 50 watt wireless charging for two phones 50 watts that's even more than what some or most phones have nowadays and over there you have your glove box which is opens quite wide and it's quite deep as well if you can see in there there's some sort of a document in there so it opens really really deep and on the pa that's a passenger seat and you have some really nice grab handles here made of very strong leather and some speakers right there you have a bag all around the vehicle so you have one airbag indicator here it's a dark interior so it's not very very clear and underneath here you have some extra storage for if you want to store extra so far I'm not seeing any USB I'm not seeing any USB connection oh there it is it's hiding in there somewhere so you have USB 67 watt charger two USB C and they both run 67 watts so it's gonna recharge your devices your phone very very quickly if your phone has that function so yeah overall these seats are really really comfortable and like I said they give you a lot of support and the headrest is conveniently placed as well so I'm just gonna jump in the back and show you what the back looks like. So these are not soft closed doors. These are conventional closed doors. And getting in the back seat, if I just step in here, let's see how the space is in here. So I moved the seat way back. This wouldn't have been my ideal driving position, but let me just try to move the seat forward a little bit. But this is the space you get, uh, which I believe is enough for even tall passengers. But the problem I'm having here, headroom. If you look here, there's just about two inches between my, this, my head and the uh, the glass roof which is not good which means that for taller drivers it's going to be a bit difficult to to enjoy this vehicle and sit comfortably and it might be quite dangerous in case of an emergency but if you're a shorter passenger it shouldn't be a problem and you, you have some grab handles here as well your speaker or microphone whatever it is and you have your press to start lighting as well here and the glass roof goes all the way back to the parcel shelf i believe if you have like three passengers here it's going to be a bit cramped but good thing is it has isofix anchor points here so you can put your baby seat on these two seats let me just move on to the other seat and see how it feels like with this the seat move forward So yeah, sitting here, I have lots of space between me and the front seat. And the seat has been moved far back, so I believe if you have a passenger in front and you just adjust the seat a little bit forward, you still have a lot of knee space. And I dare say that the seats, even though they are raised high up, they are a bit more comfortable than what you get on a, on a Tesla. Because on a Tesla Model 3, your legs kind of hang too high, but with this one, you get some high support until here and so it's not too bad for long journeys and behind the rear the front seat you have these these holes here I believe for hanging something so you can put your devices set up some sort of a table and you have a hole going through here and you have your 
hang points here to hang something, clothes or something like that when you're on the move. And overall, it's a comfortable seating position so I can place my hands here and everything you touch feels high quality also in the middle, in the rear seat as well. And uh, the door opens quite wide so it's convenient to, to get in. The middle seat is an okay size. It's not too raised and so I'm sure passengers will feel comfortable as well. And you have some rear vents right here blowing some cool air right now and you also have two type c charging ports right there so i'm just so this is a rear view it feels kind of cramped in the back here, but like I said, if you have smaller passengers, it shouldn't be a problem. It should be quite comfortable for everyone. Tall people can be comfortable here as well, but you might want to be in the front seat if you are a bit on the tall side. So let's go and take a look at the boots of this vehicle. And the opening of the doors kind of looks like it's been borrowed from uh, VW, the new VW ID versions. So you put your hand in there, you pull it, and there's this electronic mechanism that opens the door. And yeah, it comes with Michelin tires with some yellow calipers, yellow calipers on the other car as well. So it looks like I don't know if you can speak the color of the calipers, but it comes with Michelin Pilot Sport EV tires. Very beefy tires. Uh, low tire profile 245-40 rim 20. So you might be expecting some harsher ride there, but it depends on how much or how good the suspension is. And overall, the car looks really, really sleek. And it looks really well built as well. You have your rear camera uh, for I believe for radar and 360 camera view and let's just open up the boot from the back and see how it looks like so that is a very deep boot I believe it will be able to handle any kind of luggage that you might have you have your 12 volt socket here or 180 watts you have some packets on the sides for carrying things Let's see if we got a spare tire. No, we just got some extra space here. So overall, the boot space is really, really good. You can carry a lot of things whilst you're on the move. And as you can see, when the um, rear seats are pushed down, you have through loading space, you can pack longer things as well. So yeah, and you have a sub subwoofer right there. Overall, this car looks really, really nice. And the height of the boot is okay for even taller people. So after loading your stuff, you just press it and then you get your boot loaded. It's interesting how in 2024, companies that started as mobile phone companies are all switching into the car market as well. Uh, wanting to get a, a piece of the pie of the car market for us consumers, it is a good thing, but as to whether the competition will allow quality to be brought to these cars, that's another question. So this is your charging port for DC and AC. So you press to open and then you press here to shut it up, press to open. And then you press this pattern to shut it up. So very nice mechanism right here. And overall, this car looks very, very sleek. I like the design. To me, it looks much better than the Model 3. There are people out there who have claimed that this looks like a Porsche. And I won't fault you for that. It looks very much like a Porsche. Even just by looking at the headlights and the front, it looks really like a Porsche. But who cares? I mean, 
new cars cannot be totally revolutionary there's there will be some copy in here and there but you got some very nice daytime running lights here and you have your uh, headlamps in the LED lamps inside and you have a very nice Xiaomi big logo right on the bonnet and down here you get some vents for airflow to cool up and you also have some real airflow right there to the tires and I have another real one from here sending air out through this side and you have cameras all around the vehicle to give you that 360 view of this vehicle and if you look here on the B pillar you have some Tesla style camera there I believe to help with a 360 camera and you have some radar sensors right there over there to read the road the signs and everything that you need in order to navigate the road whilst you're driving so yeah it's a really really nice car Xiaomi's first shot at electric vehicles and from the look of it they seem to be on the right path really cool design and as you can see like the, most cars these days NFC entry I'm pretty sure with many Chinese cars you can get in the car with your phone as well with an app and this is a really unique design of this headlight so it doesn't recess inside it's right on the on the surface it's flush with the housing which is the first time I'm seeing something like this very very different very very unique so yeah overall it is a very nice design I like it I hope you can hear me because there's a lot of noise around here but like I said this is not a technical review it's just a quick walk around and I'll just do a quick listen to the sound system again Everything you touch feels tactile. Can tell you what the clarity in the speakers is it's just out of this world. I'm not sure what kind of speakers they're using, but it's branded Xiaomi. So maybe they have their own in-house speakers or maybe they have a third party
all right guys so that was a quick tour of the brand new su7 car newly released by xiaomi and i hope you enjoyed this walk around if you did give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so when i upload new videos you'll be one of the first to be notified once again thank you so much for watching till i see you in the next video guys ride legal ride safe always peace and i'm out